Hello dear students. This session is regarding unbalanced four wires star connected loop. This diagram shows an unbalanced four wires star connected load. The star point which is NL of the load is connected to this star point NS of the supply. This is the NL star <coughs> neutral of load is connected to source neutral NS. The voltages across the three load impedances are equalized even though load impedances are unequal. However, the current in each phase will be different. The vector sum of currents in the three lines is not zero but is equal to neutral current. Let's consider RYB phase sequence. The phase sequence is R, Y, B. Then the phase voltages V, R, N, V, Y, N and V, B, N can be taken as V angle 0 degree, V angle minus 120 degree volt and V angle minus 240 degree volt. Now the currents IR is the current from phase R which will flow through this phase impedance is set by an angle 5. This current is IR. So the expression for IR can be written as IR is equal to VRN divided by Z1. VRN is V angle 0 divided by Z1 is having magnitude Z1 and phase 5. So the current IR will be equal to V by Z1 will be the magnitude and phase angle is minus phi1. Similarly, we can find the phase currents IY and IB also. IY is IYN by Z2 which is equal to V angle minus 120 divided by Z2 angle phi2 having a magnitude V by Z2 with a phase angle O minus 120 minus 52 degrees. This much ambience. Similarly, IB equal to Vbn divided by Z. Now the neutral current. Here the currents IR, IY and IB will meet at the point NL and the current will flow through the neutral line to the source neutral. And current in the neutral line will be equal to minus of IR plus IY plus IB and this IN we can say IN will be vector sum of the line currents. Now let's move to a problem. An unbalanced 4 wire star connected load has a balanced voltage of 400 volt. The loads are Z1 equal to 4 plus J8 ohms, Z2 equal to 3 plus J4 ohms and Z3 equal to 15 plus J20 ohms. Calculate the line currents, current in the neutral wire and the total power. So first let's read the question and then let's draw a diagram as per the question. The circuit can be drawn like this and in the question it is given that the balanced voltage is 400 volt. 
so we can take vl line voltage is equal to 400 volt so the phase voltage will be equal to 400 divided by root 3 because it is a star connected system so the line to neutral voltage or the phase voltage will be line voltage divided by root 3 we will get it as 230.94 volt now the different phase voltages are vrn vyn and vbn will be equal to 230 vr is 230.94 this angle 0 degree volt it is taken as the reference phase so vyn will be 230.94 angle minus 120 volt and vbn will be 230.94 angle minus 240 degrees this much volt Now, we have to find out the line currents. Here the line currents are IR, IY and IB. From the diagram, we can write the expression for IR as IR is equal to VRN divided by ZR is equal to 230 because it is given as z1 so we can consider it as z1 so 230.94 angle 0 we are divided by z1 is 4 plus j8 given in the question it will be equal to 25.82 angle minus 63.4 degree amperes then the other line currents iy and ib also should be calculated iy is equal to vyn divided by z2 that is equal to 230.94 angle minus 120 divided by z2 k plus j4 we will give the value as 46.188 angle minus 173.1 degree amperes second line current i1 now we have to find out the current through the third line which is ib ib is equal to vbn divided by z3 equal to we get value for ib as 9.23 angle 66.87 degree amperes now we have to find out the neutral current in this current in Expression for neutral current is IN is equal to minus of IR plus IY plus IB. We have the values for IR, IY and IB. Substitute them and we can, we will get the value for IN. It is minus of 36.69 angle minus 146.70 that is equal to 36.69 angle 33.3 degree this much amperes this is the neutral current in the question we have to find out the total power also so uh, total power how to calculate the total power see part to find out the total power in order to calculate total power we have to find out the power consumed by each phase separately then add them so power in phase r 
power in phase r is ir square into rr i square into r that is equal to ir we already calculated 25.82 into resistance in r phase is 4 ohms that is equal to 2666.68 watts then power in phase y i y square into r y that is equal to 46.188 square into 3 we will get the value as then power in phase b equal to i b square r b power in phase b is 1277.89 watts now power absorbed by the load will be sum of all these three phase powers c is equal to 10,344.56 watts. Now let's draw the phasor diagram. In order to draw the phasor diagram, first we have to check out the values for all the voltages and all the currents. So I am rewriting the values for all the voltages and currents. These are the magnitudes and phase angles of currents and voltages. In order to draw the phase diagram, we have taken Vrn as the reference at an angle 0 degree. So, Vrn can be drawn along x-axis. Vrn. Then, Vyn at an angle minus 120 degree volt. So, Vyn lacks Vrn by 120 degree then Vbn at an angle two th uh, minus 240 degrees so Vbn will be like this now we have to draw the phases for the currents the current IR lacks the reference at 63.4 degrees and its magnitude is 25.82 Ampers. So, IRN will be at an angle minus 63. IR. This angle is 63.4 degrees. Then IY is 40, uh, minus 173.1 degree. Then minus 173.1 degree. Approximately here and the magnitude is 46. So IYN will be something like this. This angle is 173.1. Then we have to draw IB. IB is at a positive angle, 66.87. And the magnitude is 9.23. At an angle 66, somewhere here. IB. Then we have to draw IN also. IN is at an angle 33. 0.3 degrees and its magnitude is 36.69. So the phasor diagram will be so the phasor diagram will be something like this. Okay, thank you.